Welcome to another Selfish OS podcast and this time around I want to show you how to install Selfish OS on the Gemini PDA and first of all you need to download the Linux Flash tool from this location here. You can find uh, this location in the um, comments section or in the description of this video and you can see you have to edit some files in this case a udev rule file that you have to create and yeah, just copy and paste those rules in here just like I do here and then restart the UDEV service of course this all on Linux here because I only have Linux machines therefore I only show you the Linux way the proper way of doing it and yeah this is basically the first thing that you need to do now what you need to do is go to this website click this link the Gemini partition table and this is a nice little option that allows you to yeah as you can see here partition your Gemini device and um, yeah give Linux uh, as you can see it's zero gigabytes by default what you do here is you can see the various different methods of starting the various different operating systems like recovery mode or here I can choose a different option for boot option 2 by pressing not only the on option key but also the side key and I want Savish S in here so I choose Savish S now you can see the red warning that says I need to um, give my partition my Linux partition uh, enough space for Savish S to install so I simply can slide this around and as you can see here the numbers change and yeah let's go I think to 20 gigabytes for Linux here and of course if I also want to install Debian Linux I can choose here um, Debian Linux as well and yeah now I'm ready basically and now I have to download simply the um, the, the uh, scatter fi file as you can see on the right which is basically the instruction files on how to partition stuff and I have to download the base firmware and the additional Debian plus Sailfish firmware image and this will take a while and after I downloaded those files I can extract them and as you can see here I have this in a different folder I move them all in one folder so the Debian files, uh, Linux files, the scatter file as well because this is an instruction file and uh, what I can do now is to just simply open up the um, Linux flash tool cd into the download directory and then execute it with sudo writes or root writes and it will then look like this and the first thing I will choose here is the scatter file so I navigate into my directory where I have this uh, scatter file and then you will see that this is the partition layout that it basically shows here have a have a look here you can see various different partitions that it will create first thing I will do is uh, what is recommend, recommended is to back up a partition for I think it's the NVRAM 0 that will be backed up what you need to do is just click on uh, read back and then restart your device basically while it is connected this will then bring the device in a special state where it can read and write to the device and if you click on reboot here and have it connect you can see it will then download and uh, give you a green light when it's ready I think this is a very important step to do the next thing is I want to flash the new firmware I click here on uh, upgrade firmware and I click on download and I have to have the uh, Android version still running and then click restart again or have the device running and click on restart again so it will go into this special mode to start writing uh, those uh, partition table and installing all the data be aware that this step will also re delete all your Android installation that you might have your personal data and so on so back them up before you perform this step and after the step is complete you can see this uh, check mark here again and yeah this is basically everything for this installation congratulations now you can just simply click and hold the on button and then the uh, then the uh, outer button to start safe HS, for example and this is the assistant now as you can see it started up I have to give it a pin code a very very secure pin code of course and yeah the installation process will begin or the 
first installation wizard basically choosing your wireless LAN having the option to just simply uh, add your YOLA account in here so you can access the YOLA store and install packages in there so pretty basic uh, stuff you might already know so this is the step after I have done everything you can see I have to log in and this is basically SavageS running on the Gemini PDA you can see uh, now it goes as you can see here uh, some applications already installed. I have a terminal installed and of course I want to check out the keyboard and the keyboard seems to work fine but when I want to enter special keys just like for example the hyphen or minus key here it does not work like expected. Maybe you cannot see this because it's quite tiny. Let's uh, raise the fonts here a little bit as you can see here. So um, yeah, so I need to do some steps to to configure this. So first of all, I want to configure the display. The sleep after 30 seconds is a little bit too short for me, so I set it to two minutes. And uh, orientation to landscape, which is important. Um, and I think the rest is okay. Let's go into gestures. And I want to have the quick app closing gestures. So if, if I swipe from above down, it will close the app instead of bringing up the um, ambiences. And of course I have some uh, other options in here. Um, a language option, but text input, which is something I want to work out. Active layout is English um, for the hardware keyboard, but I want to change it to German because I have a German hardware keyboard and all the special characters are uh, on there so I want to test it right now in a notes application write a note and see how this keyboard works and as you can see here it works quite fine I can you know, quite fast uh, fastly type on it uh, even though I have to I think relearn some of the keys uh, where the keys are they're a little bit cramped up but it's doable at least for me it's doable and yeah also the um, special keys should work fine as well try the hyphen yeah this is working nicely so i can do some nice formatting here and uh, also i think the umlaut keys might be interesting to try, try out so let's test the umlaut keys so typing here is very nice actually so it's not as bad as some of the reviewers said it is so maybe they really changed the keyboard uh, before shipping them to all your, their customers uh, from the preview preview devices that they sent out to the media which is nice so even um, umlaut keys work which is nice and uh, I can also go into the store and install some applications of course I will install my favorite web browser of all time WebCat and as you can see here yeah it's a little bit looks a little bit strange here but it's look it's, it's looking the same way on the tablet with this uh, high resolution in landscape mode so I think this is intended and as you can see here installing downloading applications also works from the YOLA store which is nice and I can open this up as well and um, yeah let's try out some websites and let's see if we can search for something let's go to yola.com and that is a little bit slower maybe because I have I'm connected to the 5G Wi-Fi and I'm a little bit out of range I think so it might be a little bit slower yeah so this is the YOLA website of course GDPR um, and yeah we can click uh, around here you can serve around here let's click on read more maybe there's a video or something like this in there that we that we can try yeah it's loading video and let's see if the video is loading fine seems to load fine as you can see here so you can watch videos as well with your Gemini PDA and even I think the yeah the multimedia keys are also working so FN volume up volume down is working for bringing uh, the volume up or down which is a nice thing and yeah this is uh, basic web browser multimedia playback working fine on uh, my browser and let's go to the file manager to see 
if you can work with files as well yep you can work with files as well and of course we can now start installing applications from either the yola store or open repos and enjoy the uh, whole experience of Surface OS. This is version 2.1, by the way, so not the latest version. And here you can see the space that is available. I gave it uh, 25 gigabytes, not 20 like you saw earlier. And you can see that um, almost clean operating system here takes about 4.1 gigabytes in size. So I think this is pretty sane value. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will allow you to uh, set the right size for your device if you want to try Selfish OS out on this device. One special tip, if you have problems with after restarting Selfish OS with uh, the login screen not really appearing but also only a circle, you can swipe the circle away. It has to do with the eSIM included into this device. So you need to go into the Android version basically and if you have a SIM card uh, inserted in there, just simply deactivate the eSIM and uh, set everything to the uh, normal sim card and in this case uh, the um, uh, the stuff comes up and normally also on savish s because savish has no uh, in the in this current version it has no option to read the um, or to decrypt the eSIM stuff so it will just hang there uh, trying to decrypt the eSIM and this won't work. So this is everything for this little demonstration. Um, I hope you now have the option. You now can see that you can easily, relatively easily, install Savish S on the Gemini PDA. I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and thanks for watching.